I'd like to welcome everybody to this webinar about cyber hydraulics. My name is Philipp Giebhardt and I'm working as an application engineer at Baumüller. In this webinar, I want to give you an alternative solution for hydraulic systems with standard induction motors. In the first step, I want to give you an overview about the fields of applications of hydraulic systems. A typical hydraulic system is the press, a bending machine or an injection molding machine. The advantages of the hydraulics are high power density and simple generation of linear movements with high forces. In addition, the systems can easily be protected by pressure relief valves. The energy efficiency is often a disadvantage. Then I'd like to describe a typical cycle of a hydraulic press. The hydraulic power is shown in purple, the flow rate in green and the pressure in yellow. On top you find the segments of the press cycling. The first segment, closed press, needs a high flow rate and a medium pressure. This results in medium power. The segment pressure built up needs higher pressure and less flow rate, so the power is lower. The injection needs high pressure and high flow rate, so it's the segment with the highest power. In the cooling period, there's no hydraulic power required. In the dosing and opening of the press, medium power is required. At the end of the cycle, during handling, there's also no hydraulic power requested. To sum up, the message of this diagram is the power requirements of the cycle are not constant, but fluctuating strongly. And this is a typical cycle and a typical case for the following three hydraulic systems. This system consists of a standard induction motor which runs directly on mains and therefore with a constant speed. The pump is an internal gear pump with fixed displacement. That means the pump delivers permanently a constant flow rate, no matter if this is currently needed on the machine or not. The machine control sends pressure and volume set values to proportional valves. The hydraulic pressure and flow rate is then controlled by the ease proportional valves itself. The actual machine position is read into the machine controller and hydraulic valves are also switched by the overlaid machine control. The only advantage of this system is its low initial cost, but there are several disadvantages. A high energy consumption, a high noise emission and the expensive valve technology. The next system I'd like to deal with is a combination of a standard induction motor with a variable displacement pump, typical a piston pump. The motor speed is here constant too, but the big difference compared to the first system is the variable displacement pump. The pressure and the flow comment goes directly to the pump and by changing the displacement volume of the pump, pressure and volume control is realized. Position control and valve switching is further done by the overlaid machine control. Here we have an improved energy consumption, but there are still some disadvantages. For example, the high noise emission, the high pressure pulsation and the expensive pump. The hydraulic system with standard induction motor and variable displacement pump have been in the field for many years, but step by step new requirements of the end users and the machine builders have come up. These are a lower energy cost, a reduced machine footprint and a reduction of noise emissions. In all these points, cyber hydraulics can score. Firstly, I'd like to describe the topology of this system. A servo drive runs a high dynamic servo motor and on the servo motor an internal gear pump with fixed displacement is mounted. The interface to the machine control is still the same as before. The PLC sends a pressure and volume comment directly to the drive and also the pressure transmitter is connected here. Pressure and volume control is done in the drive by adjusting the speed. Position control and valve control is like in the other systems realized by the overlaid machine controller. So the interfaces are absolutely the same. As you can see, here we have a lot of advantages. The main benefit is the optimal energy consumption. Furthermore, servo hydraulics offer a very compact system by using water-cooled motors and smaller pumps. There's also a reduction of the noise emission. The initial costs of the systems are higher, but usually the amortization period is within one year. First, I would like to show the energy consumption of three different solutions presented using two application examples. The first one is a press. In this diagram, the purple curve shows a standard motor with fixed gear pump. The green curve shows a standard motor with variable displacement pump and the yellow curve shows a servo hydraulic system. On top, you see the different segments of a press cycle. Press closing, dwell time, 
pressback and handling. At first glance, you can see that during dwell time and handling, the energy consumption is much smaller at a servo hydraulic system. In these segments, typical no flow rate is necessary, and because of the motor stand still, no energy is consumed. At hydraulic systems with standard induction motor and variable displacement pump, the energy consumption is much higher because the motor rotates with nominal speed. But there is no flow rate. At a system with standard motor and an internal gear pump, the energy consumption is still higher because here you additionally have a constant flow rate. During pressing and returning, the energy consumption of a servo hydraulic system is also a little bit better. The second example shows a cycle from an injection molding machine. The color and the axis scaling of the curves is the same as in the example before. Here we see two segments where we can save much energy, holding pressure and cooling period. The cooling period is also the same principle as in the press example. Here is no power required and the motor and the servo hydraulic system is stopped. During the holding period, the pressure must be controlled at a constant high level. But no or only very small flow is required. The system with a standard induction motor and internal gear pump is very inefficient because of the high flow rate that needs to be generated at a high pressure level. The system with a variable displacement pump is better because the flow rate is adapted but the efficiency of the induction motor and the variable displacement pump is poor in this area. The most efficient system is the servo hydraulic system, because the speed is reduced to the level which is necessary for holding the pressure. This slide shows a typical return of invest calculation for a hydraulic machine. We assumed a medium power of 30 kW at 300 days per year. The electricity costs are assumed to be 15 cent per kilowatt hour. This results in an energy cost of over 30,000 euros per year. If a typical saving of 30% is now expected, this results in a reduction in energy costs around 10,000 euros. The amortization time for the higher initial costs is typically less than one year. In general, savings up to 50% are possible. Now let's look at the servo hydraulic solutions from Baumüller. Let's start with the hardware. The BMX 5000 drive series are optimal for servo hydraulic applications. They have a big power range from 1 kW up to 315 kW. We can easily communicate with most machine controls via different field bus interfaces. For retrofit applications, set values are also possible via analog inputs. The pressure transmitter can also be directly connected to the drive. Here, voltage and current interfaces are supported. Safety is on board and the cooling options are air, water and oil cooling. Our motors are also have the same cooling options and our DSD2 series is ideal for hydraulic applications. These motors combine a very small inertia with a high overload capacity. Furthermore, these motors offer a wide speed range and a compact construction with a high power density. As a special feature, Baumüller offers three different options for the connection between the pump and the motor. In the standard line, the mounting is made using the classic solution of coupling and pump support. The second development stage, the advanced line, describes the direct mounting of the pump on the motor via an internal toothing. Here, there is no need for a pump support or a coupling, so the system is more compact and even more robust. In the third stage, in the performance line, the hydraulic oil is additionally used for oil lubrication of the toothing. Now let's come to the software solution in the Baumüller drives. We provide a complete technology package for our drives that only needs to be parameterized. No programming is necessary here. The core of this software is the pressure and volume control in a cycle time of only 125 microseconds, which enables a highest precision and the repeatability of the machine cycle. In addition to that, Further functionalities are part of the software, like for example an intelligent feedforward algorithm for an optimal pressure control, an identification and compensation of volumetric losses of the pump, or a master-slave online switchover functionality. The software also offers various options in terms of protective and IoT functionalities, for example monitoring functions for pressure sensor and the pump. These are already included 
and enable a high machine availability. The servo pump is included in all Baumüller engineering tools and accordingly offers fast engineering. The pump, the motor and the drive can be sized directly in our tool Servosoft. The commissioning tool ProDrive offers a graphical user interface for parameterizing the drive as well as a guided commissioning for the servo pump. There's also an option of using our simulation tool ProSimulation to test the control behavior of the servo pump on a digital twin. So how can you check if the usage of servo hydraulics applications makes sense in your application? We can provide a checklist for this, in which you can enter your machine data. The pressure and the volume flow curves of your machine are very important here. This enables us to size the components for your servo hydraulic system and also to evaluate the energy costs that arise. So if you are interested in servo hydraulics now, please use the chance to get in touch with us. I want to say thank you for listening to this webinar and your attention. Goodbye.